Brussels has warned of future flashpoints after agreeing a three-month delay before imposing post-Brexit trade rules on Northern Ireland in a deal to calm the sausage war. Tensions over the Brexit deal's protocol to avoid a hard border are expected to continue simmering before another showdown in the autumn. Eurocrats blamed an ideological quest for Brexit purity, for the lack of a permanent deal after agreeing to push back an EU ban on British-made bangers and burgers being sold in the region. Raising the prospect of future clashes over the issue, a senior EU official said, we do not intend to continue with rolling extensions to the grace period. The European Commission said it would use the three-month extension to broker a long-term solution with Britain and allow supermarkets in Northern Ireland more time to adapt their supply chains. EU officials are demanding Downing Street aligns the UK with the bloc's food safety rules as the price for ending their blockade on British chilled meats. They say this would eliminate 80% of the checks on British goods exported to Northern Ireland under the protocol to avoid a hard border. The EU official said, we intend to use these three months to discuss a temporary Swiss-style agreement, which would do away with 80% of the checks between GB and NE. It can be negotiated very quickly and it can be temporary if the UK is concerned it will have an impact on future trade deals. Whether the UK chooses such a route or not is very much a question of the priorities it has. What's clear is that if the aim of the UK is to be able to diverge from EU rules, then there will have to be checks. As a result of the post-Brexit border fix, the region follows almost 300 of the EU's single market rules, which the government warns are too burdensome and undermining the peace process. To defuse the row over the implementation of the rules, Brussels has offered a package of concessions to the UK to ease EU red tape on Northern Ireland. EU officials set out plans for the bloc to tweak the bloc's own laws next month to allow drugs licensed for use in Britain to be prescribed in the region without being reassessed. The bloc's rules will be relaxed to ensure an undisrupted supply of medicines to Northern Ireland. This is an area where we are prepared to change our own rules, our own legislation, to make sure it doesn't work to the detriment of Northern Ireland, the EU official said. They will also exempt guide dogs from rules that require pet owners traveling between Britain and the area to secure an animal health certificate within 10 days of a trip.